Bon sera, mi amigas. Uh, my name is Daniel, and today I'll show you how to use uh, this uh, group note tool. With this tool, you can do literally uh, any texture based on hexagons. First, I'll show you this basic stuff, and then we will look at all of those presets. If you don't know how to add, uh, for example, this hex material with a basic setup, uh, to your file, just click File, Append, where it is. Choose Pro Hexagon. But uh, we are uh, now in Pro Hexagon, so we can't add these materials to the existing one. But if you are in the new file, you can easily uh, click Append uh, to this file and add uh, any material. But before we start, let me remember that we have um, not V, I have uh, Instagram when I'm publishing all of my um, materials with with um, node groups and uh, two places when I'm selling them on Gumroad and pro versions on Blender Market. And yeah, this hexagon texture will appear on uh, Blender Market um, hopefully the next day when this video comes out. Quick look at this frame. This is a vector distortion for any texture. And uh, let's look what it makes. Not like this. We can uh, take, for example, this preset and then go here and change this parameter. Um, so you can, in this uh, frame node, you can change this thing and um, do anything you want with this noise, noise texture or change it to any other texture. If we choose wave texture and change to rings and spherical, we will get this kind of result. Oh my god, my cat is meowing. So this is it. This is a vector distortion for any texture. Uh, hexagon. Of course, you can Google hex inside Blender file, then make it a little bit thicker. And uh, there it is. So delete this one and to go to that one. So, so, a basic hex coordinates, random hex coordinates and three-way hex coordinates are almost the same, but their difference in um, rotation. Basic hex coordinates you can rotate only in one direction. really important thing that um, this is not just numbers this is a uh, degrees for example 60 and you, as you can see there is a 60 degree then random hex it, change, it changes in random rotate then freeway hex coordinates uh, is changing in only w because uh, it's already rotated only in three directions. Remember uh, that this is um, vector output, so you can add math node and do anything you want with those coordinates. That's a quick example. So then hexalate. This is a true monster because if we um, plug it to any texture or, or any image uh, it will divide image to uh, little hexagons and we can change of course its scale look this is a really powerful instrument and yes of course you can change parameters in vector distortion and uh, create some art pieces. Let's make scale scale a little bit smaller. And uh, this is it. This is really cool. Let's go to color. 
it gives us a color color randomness we can change w and of course scale then hexa this is a basic um, output in this node with this hexa uh, you can make anything for example let's add color ramp and then we can do random patterns we can change it to constant and get those kind of parameters parameters and we can add principal psdf and we can duplicate it um, and plug it into into alpha and now we have this pattern with uh, holes you can make a metallic grid for example out of this so next next what is next next is wrong hexa why it's wrong because if we look at those uh, rays they are a little bit rotated on 30 degrees in hexa they are looking like that but in wrong hexa they are going like that then random hexa um, this output gives us uh, this kind of pat pattern and it changes in those two parameters so next quads and trees they gives us this kind of pattern that you can plug into noise white noise you can plug it to a noise texture and make a noise results so quads or trees and then add a color ramp change it to hsl far any colors you want this is kind of trash but you understand me this one is uh, sicker and uh, quads looking like that lattice this is a really strong texture because uh, let's look at lattice level and then magic happens what the fuck look at this shit this is super cool of course you can add color ramp then change colors not the same one and there we have it or you can add a math node lattice uh, greater than something like this this is really cool this is kind of mercedes benz a pattern that also you can plug into alpha in a bsdf node and um, make a really cool grid out of this and then lattice steps they are also really cool uh, go to color ramp lattice steps colors uh, like um, i don't know uh, change white to green and then if we look closer we can see this kind of pattern it changes in lattice level and uh, steps are changing in, in lattice steps level hold shift to make it a little bit cool you can also drag this and get something like this now when we understand all of uh, these hex node uh, let's look at those presets um, they are really simple but help you to better understand a hex node in this one i just plugged my picture to basic coordinates change a little bit uh, because uh, because uh, there uh, because i need to and yeah we can rotate it like that then uh, this um, picture 
I plugged into a random hex coordinates. It's of course rotate. Then this one. Uh, this one already we see. This one you understand, and this one is um, is comes from hexa. A little bit math, and uh, we get this kind of pattern. This is example of wrong hexa. This is uh, hexa with a uh, little bit changes. We can do some interesting things uh, with uh, high maps. I'll show you change uh, subdivision to simple, sport to experimental, adaptive subdivision in material settings, displacement and bump. So now let's go to uh, cycles, add displacement and plug high displacement. We got this, uh, make it a little bit smaller. And now we have this kind of pattern that changes here or here. I love this kind of stuff. Next we have uh, those two with uh, different colors. Then this one also with some colors. Let's change it a little bit. More black and more green. This is too much. This is uh, okay. Uh, that one is um, <clears throat> no. Why I did that? Make it two one. This one is a little bit complicated because uh, there is some math. But don't worry about it. I already make some math for you. So it makes a grid like this. Uh, invert it, multiply hexa with a lattice, and it gives uh, this kind of stuff. You, ca you can also use uh, this pattern. Of course you can, because there it is. But this one is for triangles. Okay, this one I showed uh, in this one. <laughs> Sorry for my poor uh, word choice. Then, uh, th those uh, are with math, so that's why they're a little bit complicated that those. You don't need to understand all of this. I don't understand it. <laughs> but you can use it. In value, change it. It gives uh, that kind of uh, steps pattern. Then go to this one. This one, I, I don't understand. I get this result literally without understanding how it works. But you can change uh, this stuff, change this stuff. And uh, as I remember, that's all. But this one is uh, I a little bit understand. Uh, it changes scale in this one, uh, thickness this one and more thickness control in this one and you may be wondering what this is about this is uh, the old one uh, material that I started uh, like a year ago but then I find video tutorials and then I understand how to make hexagons more math correctly and uh, made a new one but it's also usable and gives all of those outputs. And why it's bad? Because it uh, don't give a high map. There is only a grid. So this is it. Now uh, you know how to use not this useless sheet. Uh, how to use this hex tool to make any texture based on hexagon pattern. If you didn't understand or miss it, um, you can buy uh, this texture on Blender Market. Uh, so this is all and uh, see you next time, comrade.